back, friends. Today, Rosa and Vivian and I are putting together a schedule for summer. Uh, we are homeschoolers. However, during the summer, we have our um, co-ops and classes that the girls attend during the school year um, and our curriculum. But all of that is done, and it is officially summertime yes. yay Finally. and we have uh, some bad habits that we need to go ahead and nip in the bud right now before mm -hmm. we get our summer started well well like for instance we like to sleep in late yes I have to sleep in till nine o'clock no so we love to sleep in late around here <laughs> and this is a habit that I'm trying to break myself um, and so that entails us go. I know it's summertime. I have to wake up at 7 o'clock, Mom. Just let me sleep until 9. <laughs> Not until 9. But we're going to talk about that, okay? So uh, we're going to be working on our schedule now. And at the end of the video, I'll show you our complete schedule. And I will even uh, provide a link below to um, a, a blank schedule that you can download for free. But before we get started, we need to figure out what we need to do on a daily basis, right? So we're gonna have a little conversation about that. Hmm? I want a color. You want a color? Okay. So what are I'm gonna get us started with okay. something that we definitely need to do on a daily basis, and that is outside chores. We have chickens now, and we have a garden to take care of, and a few other things. They need to be done daily outside. Um, and is that all my responsibility? No. Yes, because you planted the garden. You bought the chickens. But you're going to be eating the eggs and you're going to be eating the vegetables. So it's all of our uh, responsibility because we're team price, right? But we're not eating the chickens, right? No, we're not going to eat the chickens. Okay, so that's the first thing, outdoor chores. What's another thing we have to do every day? Clean up. Clean what? We have to clean the chicken. Oh, there's one there. Yeah, um, we have to bring our little baby chicks out every single day, and we got to clean the baby chicks. But that's part of outdoor chores. Yeah. And inside chores. Oh. Huh? Inside chores. Inside chores. Good job. Okay, so we have outdoor chores and inside chores. Okay, what else? Me? Well, um. Pulling inside and outside. <laughs> Are we going to let our brains rot this summer yes. and not do any kind of schoolwork? Yes. yes. No. Mm -hmm. Wrong answer. <laughs> it's summer, mother. Summer doesn't mean that we don't we don't continue to learn, right? So I have ordered some books on Amazon. But that's for, for you next guys. year. That's fifth grade uh, stuff. No, some of it's fourth grade stuff. So it's just extra work for you to do throughout the summer. So we're going to have to keep our minds sharp with math. Oh, I love math. Right. I math? hate math. Not science. Oh, don't say hate. We don't I, use that word. I like Bible and math. So. Bible and math. Um, I think I did order her Bible curriculum. Um, but anyway, we're going to have to do what? School. 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 All right, so what else do we, gotta, do we have to accomplish every day? Um, watering the plants. That's outdoor chores. Um, Besides cleaning and schoolwork. What is Make your favorite breakfast. thing to ask me for? Food. Food, right? So we have our three meals. Three? Yeah. Like five meals if you Well, we'll have three meals and two snacks. Okay. Does that sound good? Yes. Okay. And what do we do when we get up every morning? Take a shower and get dressed. Okay. You don't take a shower every morning, but you do have your morning routine, right? So Ooh, you need to get like this. There. What, what is that? A giraffe. Mm -hmm. Aw, good giraffe. Look, you're an amazing artist. I love it. Okay, so we have our morning routine. And our nightly routine. And our nighttime routine. And, now, our, and our summer routine. All right, what? And our summer routine. Summer routine, yep, that's what we're figuring it out. Okay, so Let's talk about when we are going to be rising out of bed. Nine o'clock. Not That's nine o'clock. Eight. No. Huh? Eight. Nine. Eight? No, not nine o'clock. What about eight? I'm thinking seven. No, I'm not doing seven.
and that's when I had to wake up, and you know I was all tired and stuff like that. Please do 8 o'clock. Wake up, 7 o'clock, a.m. No, I'm not waking up at 7 o'clock. All right, and bedtime. Let's talk about bedtime. Look, Mommy. Mommy, look. What is that? Mm. Looks like a unicorn. It is. <gasps> awesome. Okay, bedtime. How about 6 o'clock? What about here? Six? I'm just kidding. Oh gosh. What are what are our normal bedtimes? Well, what for about, school what it's about nine thirty. Si what about what about we go to bed at nine then? Well, how about nine o'clock for you? But that was our usual bedtimes. What Honey, about ten for me? Yeah, none of that is going to change just because it's summertime. Okay. You know what changes because it's summertime? You get more what? Free time. Free time, okay. So we're gonna write that down too. We need time to play, right? Well, Free time in the, indoors Wait, and outdoors. I go to bed at 9.30 though, right? Okay, bedtime's nine o'clock, 9.30. Wait, okay. what? But we also have to have read times because I want you guys yeah, reading. I love reading. Um, I read before, at so we're gonna do eight, before bed you read, so 8.30 and nine o'clock for read times, okay? So now, we, have to to we don't have to do this every single day, all right, on the weekends or if we have guests for dinner um, or if there's something special going on, then we can have like, you know, like during the school year we had, on the weekends, we were able to kind of fudge a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. So it's going to be the same thing here, but this is going, going to be our basic schedule, okay? So I think that pretty much covers it. Can you think of anything else we need to accomplish every day? Wait. Okay, so we have okay. we have our outside chores first. I would do outside chores first. All right, well, let's do that next. Now that we know what we're doing, I'll give this to you. And let's talk about what, we won't talk about what time yet, but let's talk about what order we need to do them in. So, we're doing so that went extremely well. I gave them guidance as to what direction to go with their ideas. But overall, I think that they felt like the whole schedule was that they had some control over it and that they had some say in what was put on the schedule and when we do things. So anytime that I give them a little bit of control like that, it kind of opens their mind to the whole idea. So, you know, anytime we take ownership in something, it helps out in that way. So. It, so far, this plan has worked beautifully for us. I'll show you the schedule. I actually, as soon as we were done, I went to the computer and on my Illustrator program, I made this schedule. Now, there is a download, a free download below for a blank schedule with four different color schemes for you. Um, at the very top, there's a Bible verse. It says, whatever you do, work at it with all of your heart, as in working for the Lord. Sometimes we need a little reminder about why we should take pride in the work that we do each day. So after that, I just have a list of our, you know, the stuff that we want to accomplish every day. And I have put times on there. You may decide to not put times on there, which would totally work. Whatever works best for your family. I will say we do not stick to this every day. Some days we don't do it at all. Some days we do all of it. We stick to it perfectly. <clears throat> Either way, it's just, I just needed something to kind of guide us um, throughout the day. And that's worked really well for that. So on my magnetic chalkboard that we built, um, and we'll probably do a video on this one day, we, uh, painted it with magnetic paint before we painted it with the chalkboard paint. So I just pop them up here. I put the schedules inside um, a plastic sleeve and they have really awesome thick plastic sleeves at the dollar store and I just haven't gotten around to getting that but I am going to get that one day. And see they're doing their chores right now. <laughs> they may be fighting a little bit, but that's but they're okay. doing it. They're doing it. Um, so they are, as they're able to, as they, you know, 
complete each task or, or time block, they are able to run up here each day with a dry erase marker and just check it off. And they love doing that. Just like grown-ups love checking off our lists, they love to do that as well. Um, and then we just erase it at the end of the day so that we can start back over. It's worked beautifully for us. Please let me know. I have chalk all over me. Please let me know in the comments below if you, you know, how this worked for your family. If you have any great ideas uh, that we could add to this, that would be welcomed as well. Even if it didn't work out for your family for any particular reason, please let us know. And as usual, please give us a thumbs up. Right, Phil? Thumbs up. If you like this video, it really helps us out to see what people like. And if you'd like to see more videos from us, please subscribe. Uh, our, even though we're a teeny weeny channel at the moment, our goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers in 2018. So please help us do that, right? From the Price family to yours, peace out, and we'll see you in the next video.